The more vocabulary you know, the richer your conversation will be. Make it a habit to listen to the posts, the podcast by artisanenglish.jp for daily vocabulary enrichment. Now, we're going to look at what it means to be. Moorish. If you have a moment, please take it to like and subscribe. That would help us to grow the channel. Thank you kindly. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. When Elizabeth Barrett Browning wrote these words, she wasn't thinking about food. Or was she? Of all the Moorish foods we have to choose from, to which one would you dedicate a poem? Would it be a sweet or savory snack? Perhaps it wouldn't be a snack, but a meal that tends to hit the spot for you. Whatever it is, when a food is described as Moorish, it tastes so good that you want to eat more and more of it. We are entering a perilous time of year for dieters or those watching their weight. Everywhere you look, there are adverts for food. December is a time of plenty when people often feast and drink. We tend to let it all hang out a little more easily. For me, those jars of chocolate-covered almonds available at Costco are Moorish. I can't get enough of them. It's easy for me to polish off one jar all by myself between Christmas and New Year's. To take a step back in time to 2012, I say, YOLO. Then there is Ferrero Rocher. Those chocolates are Moorish too. God, I can eat them by the dozen as I lie on the sofa over the holiday period. I won't even mention honey roasted peanuts here. They are so Moorish they should come with a warning label on the container that says, Caution. Highly addictive. Christmas is going to be so good this year. I need to finish here to write my Ode to Moorish Snacks. This one's history. Thanks for putting us into your ears. Don't forget, for 100% correction, great conversation, authentic communication, and to steepen your learning curve, join artisanenglish.jp. Learn something new every day.